guys welcome back today we're going to be working on reorganizing my closet and it is about time that i make the switch from summer clothes into those fall winter pieces because i realized throughout the week that i've been digging into my bins that are put away for more warmer pieces and my summer pieces are just definitely out of the question so i think it's the perfect time to do that transition so come along with me let's get started So the first thing I did was take everything out of the closet just because it was so messy. It was better to take everything out, start in a clean slate, and it would just help me figure out what I wanted to keep, what I should put away, and especially the shoes. It was something I had been seeing that I was looking to have all of my boots out already and put all those summer shoes away. is I have um, a couple pieces of wood like this because my brother's closet didn't have shelves and so my uncle made shelves for his closet and so we had this leftover that I thought I can actually I can use for here because I feel like I'm just wasting space I'm not gonna just put a mountain of clothes here because it's unrealistic things are gonna fall apart so I think my plan is to put a shelf here here like in the middle right and then I could put some stuff here put some stuff here and then I want another one down here for my shoes so I can have like two levels of shoes because right now I was keeping a bin of shoes I don't wear at the bottom and then all the shoes that I do wear at the top and it just still wasn't enough space um so I think doing that is going to give me more space to organize my shoes and not always have them be a mess um so yeah, obviously here I'm going to continue to keep this hanging and now I just have to figure out once the wood goes up, I'm not really quite sure how I'm going to organize what, like where I'm putting what. So I did buy a couple of items, not so many because um, I don't even know what I'm going to use it for yet. So one of the things that I did buy was this five piece set. It's just like storage baskets. Um, so you have a big one, you have a large rectangle, and then you have two small, oh, I like, you have two of these medium ones or large, and then you have two small squares. And this was $8 at TJ Maxx, but I actually, actually saw a 10 piece in Christmas tree shops for I believe it was like $12. And I think that's great, but I honestly don't need don't need that much storage, um, at least not for now that I'm aware of. And so I got this, we'll see what we're gonna use that for. I've seen some people use it for like some jewelry or for headbands and hair pieces. And I definitely think that I could use it because right now it's a mess. Um, and then I bought, this is just one, but I bought a whole bag of lint rollers because you already know that during winter and fall, um you're wearing a lot of leggings you there's lint all over the place or some sweaters just accumulate lint so your lint rollers are definitely your best friend and uh for more stuff oh, here's the bag so it comes with the one and then three refillables and this brings 60 adhesive layers um each roll brings 60 adhesive layers and this was $2.99 at christmas tree shop so i thought that was a great purchase and then i got um just like two of these storage cubes um and i like the color again it goes with the color scheme in here which is i mean the floor is like the wooden color and it's just white so i thought this would be the perfect color and it's a good size again not sure what i'm planning on putting here yet um probably uh scarves for sure because i have a lot of scarves and i need to organize that and I don't know what else we'll see we'll see once i bring everything out so this was two for 6.99 which i also thought was good because in some oh and this i bought at christmas tree shops because some places 
I don't know, they're just so expensive. You pay like $5 just for one. So, and they only had one, so I didn't buy more. Um, but I don't even know if I'm gonna need more, so we'll see as it goes along. And that's all the stuff that I bought. I'm not trying to spend so much organizing my closet um, because that is not where I want to put my money right now, but I definitely want it to be organized so I don't have to constantly be cleaning it and I can just walk into it, know what I'm looking for and get out. So. Okay, so first I'm starting off with my sister's pants and I'm just gonna get rid of like what's summery, kind of like these pants that you can't really wear during the uh, winter or fall and I'm just going to put it in a pile to put away and refold what you can continue to wear like you know denim that obviously you can wear during all seasons and then put her shorts away and all that stuff and then put it back in the closet to start organizing. I love rolling our jeans just because we don't wear them often so they look so cute rolled up and if you tuck the roll jean into one of the legs it keeps it still without falling apart so it's so cute so easy to do and it looks cute in your closet. Once I was done with her side I went and pulled up my stuff and put aside what was summer what I was going to put away all the shorts and all that stuff and re-rolled my denim. So in this box, I normally keep some of my sweatshirts to work out or just some t-shirts that I normally use to work out. And then I have separate t-shirts somewhere else. Um, but now I have a mess of things. So we're going to organize this. Best way is to just dump everything out. Then I just went over to where all of my other clothes were hanging and I started pulling out items that were summer items, things I couldn't really wear anymore, and set them aside so I could put them away in a bin. Now we're moving on to folding laundry. I have these two bins. And I believe I have a little bit more downstairs, um, but we're making progress. I've already put away all of those are all summer stuff that I need to put away. And I can't tell you guys enough how messy my drawers get so quickly. And you can tell some of the things are still folded, but if you don't fold one thing back exactly as how you put it the first time, things can get messy real, real quick. This is the bin that I use to put away the shoes that I am not using for the season. So currently taking all of my boots out or any heels. And all right, so this is what the closet looks like now with those two shelves um, that my uncle installed. And they pretty much just run that way. I thought about painting them because I do have paint the color of the wall. But I kind of really like the wood color and for it to match the floor, so I thought I'd just leave it as is. in these bins is part of where I keep my winter clothes so I just kept taking everything out figuring out what I wanted to keep what needed to go what I needed to hang and just making separate piles and folding everything so it could be put away And 
and can't forget about my doggies clothing now that it's getting chillier i always put a shirt or a hoodie or a jacket on him when i walk him in the morning so i wanted to organize that to make it easier to pull something out then i moved over to accessories and started with the belts all i did was roll them up and put them in the large bin So here I just have a pile of like sweaters, leggings that I washed and mostly it's scarves though which I am going to put in here. So we are going to roll them up as I've seen many people do, which they got from the home edit if you guys have watched that organization video from Netflix. So pretty much we're just going to roll it into a ball and stick this piece through here and make it like a little donut. Now we just stick it in here. So to start off, this is the back of my door and I normally just keep my towel there, some jewelry, currently hanging some masks. And then these are just some belts that come with shirts, jackets that sometimes I use to mix with other clothing pieces or as a headband. And then in here, I guess we'll start off with what's right here. This I bought just to put some of my statement earrings that can hang and then... I put my two headscarves, I just hung them here. And then here, I just grabbed a piece of fabric and I clipped on all of the pins just to make it easier to grab onto and for it to look cute. So then here, I just hung all of my hats. I honestly don't even know what that is or why that was in this closet, but then these are all of my sister's rolled pants, her dress pants, in this box, I just have all of our makeup. For an easy grab, you just pull this down and all that makeup is in there. Out here, I have some random light bulbs down there, but then I have some of my smaller handbags that I use most often um, to make it easier to grab. Here are my doggies shirts and sweaters. Now that it's getting colder, I've got um, these are more like short skirts that I feel like I could still wear um, during the fall period. These are all of my dress pants and then all of my rolled up denim. Then we just obviously have everything else sorted by lights to dark. As you can see, I am very limited in the colors that I wear. And then we've got some thicker and chunkier sweaters here that I am going to be saving for more colder days. And in here we have the belts and then all of my scrunchies, headbands, more headbands here. And then here I put some lint rollers and then these little foot cushions or gel cushions for your high heels. So I thought this was the perfect corner for it as I don't really come here as often. And then down here, I have this little bin with things that I normally use at night, like my night cream. Um, this is my day cream, my brush, some face towels, my spray. So these are just things that I use like in an every day. And back here, I just have in this little cup some of those earrings that you can't hang. And then here in this little jewelry box that my sister had gotten me, I have just more jewelry boxes with jewelry that, well, necklaces that I do wear every now and again, like my smaller necklaces. So I have that. 
there. And then just put these cute little frames here um, because it was an empty space. And then this little bin, we have some leggings, which I actually have to get more of because I don't really have black leggings and that's what we need to shop for. And then here are all of my workout pants. I mostly have black as you can tell. And then <laughs> like one color. And then in this bin here, easy to pull out. I have more sweaters. These are more like hoodies or um, very casual lounge sweaters that I have there. And then down here we have our shoes going from lightest to darkest. So you can't see all the way out there, but I think it ends in burgundy. Um, I couldn't fit in the back and in the front. So what I, unless you did it sideways, like those white sneakers are. So all, what I put in the back was heels that I don't really wear as often. And more of the shoes that I do wear often up in the front. And then down here you go from dark green and then all of these are black and it goes all the way to the end over there which you can't really see because it's so dark but all of those are my black shoes and then i left these longer black boots that are new out here and then down underneath like all of my hanging stuff i have two bins of this which is just for um laundry so they both go here and then in this dresser that i keep outside I keep rolled up um, just like this, some of those camisoles or tanks, whatever you want to call them. And then here I have some cropped sweaters, cropped shirts. Um, I didn't really think about doing color coordination, but it's a little bit light from dark. And then in our second drawer, we just have a mix of like blouses, shirts, T-shirts are all on this side. I didn't even try coordinating that because I'm constantly pulling stuff out. And then here are more like thicker shirts. And our last one is just pajamas, which again, I didn't really try and coordinate um, the colors because you're constantly pulling and it becomes very messy very, very quickly. All right, you guys, that was all. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making this video. It truly brings me so much life to see the transformation. Oh my God, it makes such a difference to add those two shelves and not waste space. I really needed that space. But I hope this was also of encouragement to you to reorganize your closet, make it easier for yourself to see what you have, to choose an outfit in the morning, trust me, when I wake up now and look at that closet, it just makes me more excited to pull an outfit together because I could see everything and everything's just so neat. It also keeps me encouraged to maintain it that way. So I really hope your closets turn out just as great. Till next time, thank you for watching.